everyone, Mia here, and so that was the process for how Ruin's fursuit head was made. Now the thing is, is like I said, whenever I was having Ruin made, I was very, very picky. Um, I had seen styles of angel dragons, and I really at first thought I wanted the more cartoony one. Um, and the thing is, I was searching for a specific head base that I thought fit Ruin, because he was supposed to look small, he was supposed to look young, and I wanted him to look a little bit unique. Um, while still kind of sticking to a very similar style, but unfortunately um, those styles are usually reserved for the professional makers that cost 700 some dollars or more just for the head and it was really expensive. It was not within my budget So then I started looking into non-professional makers people kind of did it here and there did it more as a hobby um, We're trying to get more commissions and the thing is is I had a lot of starter uh, people saying, hey, I just started making fursuits. I would love to make ruin for you. Now the thing is, I was all for that. Um, however, the thing is, is the examples that they showed me were not really what I wanted for the price that they were telling me to pay. There were people that had just started that were telling me to pay $400, $500, and the thing is, is the quality was not really something that I would personally want to wear around representing my character. So I did have to turn a lot of people down, and then I got recommended to AJ Vengeance, who then ended up doing Ruin's head for me, which was really good. It ended up being a really great deal. So I paid $300 for the head, $50 for the shipping, so in total it was $350. And, you know, this was only the second head that they had made. But I got to see the process of them making their own fursuit head, which was Reaper, um, because they were doing that one first before they made Ruin, so I got to see them do that. And then they confirmed with me, they said, okay, you saw me make Reaper because I really like Reaper, Reaper's head base. And they're like, you saw us made Reaper, um, do you still want us to make Ruin? And I was like, yes, please do. Now, Reaper had a very unique style that was a little bit different than what I was looking for. So I was kind of worried about how Ruin would turn out. But ultimately, Ruin turned out really, really good. I mean, I think so. And especially for a second suit ever, like a separate second suit head ever made, I think this is absolutely fantastic. And I've had so many people say, Oh my gosh, this is only their second suit. Like, that's amazing. And I agree. I think, I think Rune's amazing. I think everything that's about him is amazing. Now the thing is, is now that I'm learning more about fursuits, I'm obviously seeing some places where Rune can be improved. Um, such as his horns and stuff, I'd rather have them in vinyl. Um, his teeth I'd probably rather have in vinyl. Uh, just some things, maybe give him... I know that they gave me an option of a puffier tongue, but I wasn't sure how it would turn out. But I might want to give him a puffier tongue in the future. I will never change the eyes because I adore Rune's eyes. Um, um, ear placement is really good. It's what I wanted at the time. I don't know if maybe in the future it'd be possible to change them, but I might do so. And the inner part has felt in it. Um, the black little thingy has felt. And the thing is, is in Texas, felt's just way too hot. Um, so other than that, there's really nothing wrong with Rune's design. Um, Maybe the, the mouth and whatnot, it's a little snug on the inside, but it's great quality, I think, and I think he's gorgeous and I love him to bits. And working with AJ was so amazing, and I cannot even tell you. The thing is, is, so many people, they go to a professional maker, and a professional maker is supposed to know what they're doing, so yeah, you're not really going to get much contact with them. You're not going to be talking to them all the time, because they're basically just going to say, give me your reference, send your payment. I'll make your character. And sometimes you'll see progress reports, or sometimes you'll see them doing your character on live stream, but there's not really that much communication because they are a business, they are busy, and you're not the only customer that they're dealing with. But because I was AJ's only customer, um, I did get a lot of one-on-one -on -one talking with AJ. Um, they were so great in sending me the fur. When I made Ruin, I didn't have his professional ref sheet made yet. So that was a bit of a problem because they were calling me, well not really calling me, but they were messaging me saying, hey, this ref sheet says turquoise, what on him is turquoise, because I'm not really seeing it, I'm just seeing the blue, and what kind of green in specific do you want, because Ruin's original ref sheet was done in colored pencil, so on my scanner it didn't really come out very well. They're like, how dark do you want the gray? Um, does this pattern, it doesn't really show it in the back, but does this pattern make a Z or where does it end? And so we had to do a lot of back and forth about wh what this character like looked like on certain parts of him that weren't shown, um, side views, spike placement, mouth. There were just different things that we had to go through. 
um, the mouth especially, because they're like, what's his mouth look like? And it's like, okay, the inside's a dark green, but his tongue's like a, a, a lime green. And they're like, okay. And then we had to go through, is this color right? Is this color right? And some of the colors I ended up changing on Rune, especially the blue. Because originally his blue was actually just like a sky blue. But then they found this lovely turquoise, like, and they're like, is the turquoise for the markings? Well, no, originally the turquoise were for the inside of his eyes. He had like light blue eyes, but the middle of it was turquoise. Looking at my ref sheet, I wasn't really sure that that would look right, especially now I could see what turquoise was really going to look like. And I was just like, I actually really like the turquoise for the markings. So yeah, go ahead and get the turquoise fur for the markings. And naturally, the white fur was easy. Finding the fluffy pink was easy. Um, and then we decided on, you know, just doing blue for the eyes. And then the gray, they're like, how, how dark do you want it? Now, unfortunately, with like the different furs, he doesn't really have, or he didn't, have this dark of a gray. And often in his pictures, he's not portrayed with this dark of a gray. But the thing is, is with the fur that they could find at the time, um all the grays were very close to white. Like there really wouldn't be much of a differentiation if you put them side by side. And the thing is, is I want there to be a differentiation. I want them to be able to see that Rune's face is basically cut in half, like zigzagged in half. And so we ended up going with a Mongolian gray, which ended up working out really well. And then halfway through the process, I got an official ref sheet for Rune. And this is before his eyes were done. And I feel like this is what influenced his eyeball design a little bit was because of the brand new ref sheet, which was really cool. Um, and it helped a lot and it helped with like the ear placement and stuff too. And it helped with the, the designs. Cause like his ear, um, the ear ended up not curling as far in, but that's because um, the blue part, but that's because they were having a bit of trouble with it. And uh, they did curl it in the back very nicely. Um, so, but that was something that really wasn't seen on the ref sheet, so that was something that we had to discuss. The fur on the side of his head, it's, it's a Z pattern, and before, his ref sheet didn't really show that. So they were asking, what does this marking look like on the back of his face? Does it make a Z? And they showed me, and I was like, yeah, that seems about right. So it was really wonderful talking to AJ, and then every step of the way, they were sending me those, those photos. They didn't come in the collages, I made the collage myself. Um, you know, for the different steps in the stages, because eventually I did want to put them in my blog to show people. Um, and now I'm showing you in a video. But yeah, they would send me progress reports. They're like, hey, I'm doing this today, or hey, I'm working on this today. And I know that people are always so worried about getting scammed with their fursuits. Um, and for me, it was especially hard because I literally told the maker, hey, I'm sending you a lot of money. And so I am really, really, really scared of getting scammed so please keep in contact with me please constantly update me um if it's not too much trouble like please just stay in touch because this is something i'm very scared about and they were very understanding of that they're like no i understand i'm the same way and so they sent me all the progress of reaper and then as they were doing ruin they sent me every step for a while we did lose touch um for like a month and that's because they started a new job and I did get kind of worried, but when I mailed them and said, hey, um, what's going on? Uh, are you still alive? Are you still working? What's going on? They mailed me back and they said, hey, I'm really sorry. Yeah, I've just been really busy with my new job. I'm starting work on Ruin next week. And then sure enough, I got the progress reports of Ruin and I didn't even have to ask for them. So it was, it was really great. It was a really great experience. Um, but yeah, please do not take my experience as what your experience is gonna be. Mine is what I feel the optimal experience should be. I feel like you can't really get a better experience than being able to constantly talk with your maker about your creation, um, your creature and your persona. I don't think you can get a better experience than what I had really, um, because they were always sending me fur. They were always like, like fur comparisons. And they're like, which blue do you like better? Which gray do you like better? Which, which of this do you like better? Here's the three that I found. This is more expensive, but which of this do you like? They even told me when the fur came in. They sent me pictures and they're like, oh, your fur arrived today, which was really cool. And um, I know that a lot of people aren't gonna get that, especially if they go with a professional maker. I'm not saying that it's bad if you don't get it. I'm just saying for optimal experience, I feel like that's the best experience that you can get. 
Um, but yeah, and then when they shipped out Ruin, they told me what date he will probably arrive. They gave me a tracking number. I was able to track him all the way to my house. And then, of course, my unboxing video happened, which a lot of people really like, and they gave me a lot of um, really, really nice comments about how they thought Rune was super adorable, and they really liked it. And honestly, I really couldn't be happier. I mean, in the future, yes, there are some improvements I do want to make on this, because I do feel like there's some places where he can be better. Um, but that's just because having worn him for a little bit, having worn him out in public, having had to like actually care for the fursuit now, like brushing it, washing it, and all these other things, just seeing different various places where, you know, I, I feel like I might have issues with the suit in the future as far as like places that will need to be repaired for certain reasons that I could fix. I feel like, you know, there are some places where he could be improved, but I'm not gonna change the style of this head. And, um, and I honestly don't think I'm ever going to get another Ruin. I feel like Ruin should just stay, should stay Ruin. Now, if the suit gets in bad shape, naturally I'll get a new one. And eventually he will get old, but I will never, ever get rid of this head. I will never strip it down because this is my first one and I adore it to pieces. Um, I am going to make other characters in the future. I did want this maker to make Ruin's full suit, but they really haven't been in a position to make the full suit yet because they have been working on Reaper suit. And um, I am getting some help from my friend Emmy, who is helping me make at least a partial for Ruin. If I decide to do a full suit in the future, I might still consider going back to this maker um, because I do think that they're amazing and they're so nice, like so sweet. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's really all there is. But yeah, so that's my that's my review. I definitely give this maker an A+, plus, a 10 out of 10, um, especially since Rune is only the second one that they made, which I think makes him super rare and even more lovable. Um, but yeah, I definitely would give this fursuit maker like two thumbs up. However, they do not really take commissions as far as I know. Mine was kind of like a special e exception because they were recommended by a friend of theirs. And they're like, sure, why not? I can do it, I guess. You know, like they weren't like totally like, yes, I make suits. They're like, well, I kind of do it. Do you want me to try? <laughs> so it was one of those things, but they're not constantly taking fursuit commissions. But I do know that they do take art commissions and their art is amazing. So please go check them out. On Fur Affinity, they are Reaper the Dutch Angel Dragon. They are AJ Kitty, and I'll link everything down below. And then on Facebook, they are AJ Vengeance. So. Definitely give them a shout, let them know that you think Ruin's awesome, because I think Ruin's awesome. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching you guys. If we're not already at 300 subscribers, we are getting super close to 300 subscribers. And at 300 subscribers, I will be making a um, Angel Dragon, which I will give away in a raffle. So you'll get an Angel Dragon um, by me, which is really cool. And they'll come on a full reference sheet this time. It won't be like the last dragon. It'll come with the reference sheet and everything. So that'll be awesome. But thanks so much for sticking by and watching this. And I will see you all in the next one. All right. Bye, you guys.